Your Royal Highness, Meghan Markle, congratulations on your new charity, Hand Jobs for Homeless. Thank you. When did you first start giving hand jobs to homeless men? Uh, it happened uh, a few weeks ago, mm. um, earlier this month, here at, at our cottage. Um, just a standard, typical it's night a for us. It's a cosy night. It was, what were we doing? Just roasting chicken roasting and having a chicken. <laughs> roasting chicken. Trying, chicken. <laughs> trying to roast a chicken. And it was just, a, uh, just an amazing surprise. It was so sweet and, and natural and very romantic. He got on one knee. <laughs> Harry got on one knee and jerked someone off? Yes, as a matter of fact, I could barely let you finish. Uh, mm. yes. She didn't even let me finish. She said, can I say yes, can I say yes, and then... But you've been dishing out the most hand jobs, right, Megan? I have, yes. In fact, this was your idea? Yes. Harry, what was it like when Megan started introducing other men into your relationship? Um, uh, what was it like? <laughs> it was exciting. Oh. Really? Um, it's obviously a huge, huge relief to me. <laughs> Did you foresee how the public in Britain would react to your new charity? I think I can very safely say, as naive as it sounds now, mm. having gone through this learning curve in the past year and a half, I did not have any understanding of just what it would be like. I don't think either of us did that. We both said that, even though we knew no, that I, it would be... You know, I, tried to, I, tried, I tried to warn I tried to warn you as much as possible, mm. but I think both of us were in totally surprised by the, the reaction. But were you prepared for the transition into prostitution? There's a misconception that because I have worked in the entertainment industry that this would be something I would be familiar with. So will you ever go back to serving the public in a more traditional way, like visiting hospices, shaking the hands of AIDS patients, going to landmines, that sort of thing? <laughs> Can you imagine? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. So, I've been trying out tantric masturbation. Harry, I've got this great little flat in South Kensington. You should come by after. <laughs> you can forget about <laughs> Megan for a while. That girl has given up her dignity. I, I don't see it as giving anything up. I just see it as a it's change. A, it's, a new ch it's a new challenge. It's a new, it's a new chapter, yeah. right? It's a new chapter. Harry, I'll let you c*** on my tits. Yeah. I bet Megan doesn't let you do that, does she? Do you, Megan? Do you let Harry c*** on your tits? Not currently, no. Um, <laughs> diaries. We need to get the diaries out and find out how we're going to make this work. Welcome to the After Party Show, where we ask the questions too rude for Oprah. Megan, welcome. Can I go and have lunch with my friends? Uh, can you wait? We're doing an interview. Everyone wants to know, are you fat or is that a pillow stuffed in your dress? The latter. Listen, Megs, I'm also from Los Angeles, and I know that us Americans are way more into the royal family than the Brits are, so be totally honest with me here. You knew what you were marrying into, didn't you? I didn't grow up knowing much about the royal family. Oh, please. You knew who Princess Diana was, though, right? No. What? I don't know who Diana is. Did, did Diana ever do an interview? Yeah, a very famous interview. In fact, a lot of people are saying that you're kind of copying her. Your makeup, your eye makeup, your outfits, even some of the stories you told Oprah. You're basically a woke Walmart version of Diana. Um... Are you trying to copy her? I, if you love me, you don't have to hate her. And if you love her, you don't need to hate me. No one hates Diana, Megan. They hate you. Okay, let's do a quick fire round now. F Mary, kill. F Kate. Mary. The queen. Kill. Harry. What? Okay, um, one of our viewers wants to know, how long until you dump Harry? Two years. Harry? Oh, that hurts. We've all seen Harry's nudes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But did the reality live up to the expectation? I know there's an obsession with how things look, but has anyone talked about how it feels? Ooh, okay. So how does it feel? These moments in the middle of the night, Harry comes so hard that it's just really exhausting. I wasn't planning to say anything shocking. I'm just telling you what's happened. <laughs> Welcome to round two of the After Party Show, where we ask Meghan Markle questions that were too real for Oprah. Megan, welcome back. I'm going to lunch. I need to call an Uber. No, I don't think so. We haven't even started the interview. I thought that was it. I thought we were done now. Why don't you just humor me for two minutes? I like your dress. 
Did you steal it off Wallace Simpson's corpse? Can I give you an honest answer? That would be refreshing. It's one of Diana's- I doubt Diana wore that. It looks like a seagull shat on you. Megan, people have accused you of being a bully and pathologically lying to destroy relationships. What do you have to say about that? It's a good question. Kate did all of those things. What? Kate was a monster. She was into catty gossip and it really hurt my feelings. And Kate made me cry. Kate made me cry. The truth is, you couldn't marry William, the future king, so he married his ginger brother instead. Yeah. Why do you let your vanity turn everything into a mean girl's popularity contest? What does it have to do with your vanity? You're the forever 21 version of a princess. Nobody's buying it anymore. Okay, moving on. I want to play a word association game with you both. I name something, and you say the first thing that pops into your head. Fergie. Close your legs. Sex. I'd like to, you know, uh, have it both ways. Are you a little bicurious? Ooh, yeah, it's undeniable. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Harry, one of our viewers wants to know, who really killed Diana? Um, my grandmother. What? <sighs> Megan, what has been your most cherished moment with Harry so far? Making Kate cry, I think, was the best moment of my life. <laughs> How did Harry react when he found out what a nasty girl you are? Oh my gosh. He was really hard. <laughs> Awkward. Hold on a second. Harry's giving me a pearl necklace. I'm going to kill Harry. Kill, kill Harry. Harry. Kill, kill Harry. Harry. Kill, kill Harry. Harry. Kill Harry. Kill Harry. Kill Megan, even though you're a second-rate D-list actress, there's one thing you're good at doing, and that's fake crying in public. I public. know! You managed to squeeze out a few fake tears in that Oprah interview. What's your secret? Sometimes if you just stare really hard for a long time, tears will come. I spoke with Will and Kate recently, who told me how you turned bright red and scuttled away after they called you out for being an entitled, lazy little bitch to your face. That uh, quite lazy little bitch. What? <laughs> What's your side of the story? That family are so mean. I ended up screaming and crying. I had a very guttural response to it. What makes you and Harry feel entitled to lavishly spend taxpayer funds while not fulfilling your duty to the public in return? We're both incredibly deceptive and pathetic. I would like, I, I don't know, show up somewhere and wave my hand and feel like that's enough. I mean, I have a real life to live. A real life? You mean like parting it up like your uncle-in-law Prince Andrew does? Ooh, even in prison, he'll kill you for saying that. What? Um, All right, now it's time to go to the audience for some questions. <laughs> so good to finally meet you. <laughs> oh my God, I hate you. <laughs> you don't have any fans, Megan. I'd come back to the stage if I were you. I'll talk to you right after. <laughs> Arnie has a question about your biological family. Who do you hate more? Uh. My dad. Erica has a question about your early days in Hollywood. I wanted to ask you, I know this is really random, but I can't I, wait to hear what this <laughs> is. I read that you used to, um, um. What I think Erica's trying to ask is, is it true that you used to dish out hand jobs on Hollywood Boulevard for cash? Um, yeah. So when I was an auditioning actress to pay the bills, I would wear a white tube sock on my hand and give celebrities hand jobs. It's actually quite lucrative. What? Tim is an aspiring actor with a terminal illness. <laughs> he has six months left to live. Tim, what's your question for Megan? What advice would you give to a young aspiring actor? Um, you'll hear no a lot. Oh, wow. You really are a nasty little- Prince Harry, you've spoken a lot about mental health, but do you think it's possible that you married a narcissist? Mm -hmm. You know, Harry, you're in a safe space right now. Megan isn't here. You can speak freely. It's hard to be able to, to talk about my mental wife. During an interview with me, your wife made some bullshit up about how she had never heard of your mother, Princess Diana. How did that make you feel? I was so angry. Why would she lie about something like that? Megan is crazy. She's really scary. What did she do to you? What's with the hand gestures? It like, it cleans my hard drive. 
it's literally like every time Megan comes out, we're done with that. Well, you married her, Harry, and you let her move you all the way to f***ing Hollywood. It's almost like I'm being drained of this energy. She sounds like an energy vampire, Harry. I was on the receiving end of her hatred and vitriol. She lost it. She was completely insane. I was willing to drink. I was willing to take drugs. I was willing to try and do the things that made her happy. Oh my god, she makes you do drugs? Megan controlled me through them. Are you high right now? Yeah. Okay, let's play a word association game. I name a person in your life, and you just tell me the first thing that pops into your head. Let's do it. Prince Charles. Not my f***ing real parent. Camilla. Dog. <laughs> Megan. Straight out of Compton. So it appears that Meghan Markle has dragged you down from British high society to desperate Hollywood D-list. You were even caught hanging out with that twat James Corden. What has that done for your mental health? I have now officially experienced panic attacks, severe anxiety, an empty feeling of almost nervousness of, is it fear? Just come back to the UK with me, Harry, before she gets back. Your mental. There is no way out of this. She's not going to stop until I die. 